Greetings, unsettled souls! Go! Welcome to the Correct Views. It is uh, Sam BDNG. Welcome aboard, friends. Um, I wanted to make sure that I let you guys know about this. Um, the show has been growing rapidly ever since, and it's been quick, ever since it was picked up by Opera News. And I want to make sure that all of the unsettled souls, as it were, who are hearing this on YouTube and uh, the three people that hear it on Rumble, all of you who are hearing it on YouTube, please make sure you make your way over to Opera News. Just type in Opera News Politics. Yes, there is op it's also an Opera News for Opera. That's not the one that I mean. No, I promise I'll never do that again. You have my word. Don't hit on subscribe. I would. Um, make sure you check out Opera News. The reason I'm saying that is not only did they support the show when I was about to shut it down and they didn't even know that. It was like it was an act of God. We'll get to that in a minute. But also, it was the idea that they're not censoring what I'm saying. I mean, granted, I can't say anything stupid, but I'm, that's not where I'm coming from. So, please, all of you unsettled souls, those of you on YouTube, get off of YouTube because I'm telling you, Mark Dice has told you, Luke Rudowski, Mark, we saw what they did to Alex Jones. Get, please don't hit on subscribe on YouTube. That's going to hose me. But please at least subscribe to Opera News. I, I don't mean to start the show harping about something but it's so important because I don't, my days are numbered on YouTube, friends. You need to know that. Why? Because I bring you the correct views. And this is one of them. And I'm wearing one of them. I caught this at a show with the most important, wonderful person ever. Um, I caught this at a show, at a show, at a game, at an Indians game. I'm an Indians fan, not a Guardians fan. I wanted to point that out after the video that I posted. You guys saw it where Bassett from the A's, oh my God, got blasted with a 100 mile an hour, 100.1 mile an hour fastball right around the right ear on the cheekbone so swelled. Oh, terrible. They can't even do surgery till it's done. Friends, this is the correct views. It's on a, a, the correctviews.town.news. There's been a lot of talk about taxing the churches. And I wanted to put together a video of it, but you have to do it in 10 minutes to get some of the videos on some of the platforms that we're posting to post. So I wrote an article about it that I could read concisely to you that I knew that I could get in on the 10 minutes. So this is Tax the Churches or Not from the correctviews.town.news. It's written by me. I'm reading what I wrote because it helps me fit it into the allotted time. I wrote, due to the horrors found among some leaders and teachers within the Catholic Church, most priests have probably suffered the odd stare or harsh jokes from those who they come in contact with during their day. This is to be expected, of course, because sin ripples until the innocent are wet, too. However, that doesn't make it right, moral, or just to the hard-working priest who tends to funerals, deathbeds, sickbeds, and pulpits, doing his very best to serve the Lord, and who has never harmed anyone, particularly, I wrote, children. This is, after all, true of the vast majority of priests. Uh, just as sexual sin, just that, excuse me, just as sexual, the sexual abuse scandal, scolded and humiliated the body of Christ within the Catholic Church. All of the Christian faiths, and even non-Christian faiths like Islam, have much to worry about when it comes to the interest, interest excuse me, that some people have regarding taxing churches, something that has not thankfully, uh, does not thankfully take place currently. Usually, this idea gets presented after a church does something that shames the body, Christ's body as a whole. Some would argue that Joel Olstein did this when he was alleged to have denied help to those suffering after a hurricane, and while his church may have already seen unsafe flooding, it had, by the way, the media attacked him anyway. Anyhow. After this scandal, cries of tax the church were heard louder than Lemmy's loudest outing. 
This argument usually goes something along the lines of the churches get free land and the pastor only works one or two days a week and they live like kings with no other sight. None of this is true. I say here that to begin with, pastors and such do not only work on the days that they are preaching or writing the sermon. Usually, to quote the lingo of the day, their work sucks. It is certainly fulfilling work, and without their tireless work, society, religious or not, would suffer terribly. Still, most of their days can be filled with deathbeds, sickbeds, funerals, and hospital visits. A wedding is a blessed relief, but since most people get married in the summer and on major days like Valentine's Day, guess where the pastor spends his or her summers and romantic holidays? Of course, his wife and family and or family also gets to accept this. This, I wrote, is the cold hard fact. Furthermore, the bigger the church, the more of that dire list they get to face every day. All the funerals, all the deathbeds. The other myth is that there is no oversight. How is it that everyone knows what famous TV pastor has a jet or mansion? There are records of it. It is public knowledge. His or her flock is free to donate as they see fit at any time. It is not hidden. There is no secret jet hiding in a church warehouse that no one knows anything about. Also, like anything else I wrote, taxes are paid on the things purchased by the church. It is only the land which the church is on, usually, and what they get via certain income streams that are not taxed, and most churches do not in any way, shape, matter, or form own even close enough land to make si a sizable difference in if they were taxed on their property. Excuse me. The reason why most pastors don't get busted with planes and sports cars is that they can't afford either one. Everyone points to the megachurch as if that is common, but that is like pointing to Metallica and assuming that everyone in a band makes the kind of money and that that kind of draw would bring. More like the local band at Buzzbin, which is a uh, club near me, than Metallica, most pastors are happy to make a decent living if they are lucky. The last and most harmful myth, to wrap this up real quick, is that even if the land is small, taxing a church for every little thing, just like another business, would generate some money for everyone. While this may be true, the supposed gains turn negative quite rapidly upon study. Listen to this, friends. To understand how this is so, in Canton, Ohio, is a church called the Trinity Gospel Temple. From this building, a number of respected Christian teachers and pastors work. With Cathedral of Life being located there after they suffered a fire, along with the tireless work and ma of master musician and pastor Michael Kelly. My God, can he play keyboards? From his family of God, with some help from the Stark County Fairgrounds, and from the food supplied by local chicken and meat producers in the area. Listen to this, friends. Listen to this, unsettled souls. Over 250,000 tons. No, I did not misspeak. 250,000 tons of food was given or sold for a dollar a pound to anyone, regardless of their faith, who came to the church. This was above and beyond the daily help that they give for food, utility payments, and so forth. Furthermore, this isn't the only food drive that they had. This was only one event that was done during the worst of the COVID-19 travesty. From there, an astute mind can easily deduct what taxing such a church and outreach would do. Each dollar taken away from this kind of work and given to Uncle Sam and the logistics of planning can take eons. Each dollar is a dollar that a person in need does not get. Each moment of time spent dealing with mounds of paperwork is one moment not spent helping those in need. You can read the rest of the article at the correctviews.town.news. But my point is, you're going to shut down a whole lot of work that helps the impoverished people by taxing churches for what works out at the end of this article you'll see for less than $50,000 a year. How much do you think 250,000 tons of food costs? This We lose money taxing the churches people, particularly the poor.